Um, so let's look through this problem. Let's go ahead and see if we can break it down. Maria, Maria, oh, last one. Can you write this one down? Yeah. It's a really important one. Okay. Um, so for this problem, guys, it's going to be the exact same thing. Our main important thing, like I said, we see we have a square here. But exactly what we're going to do, let's just get our trig function by itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this 1 by adding a 1 to both sides. So then I have 4 cosine squared of x equals a positive 1. Now, let's get rid of that 4, right? I'm going to undo addition subtraction, undo multiplication by division. Uh, so therefore, I have cosine squared of x equals 1 fourth. Now, I need to get rid of this squared. So this cosine of x, or cosine squared of x, means cosine times cosine. So to undo the squaring, we take the square root. Now, I have cosine of x equals, and please remember this, if you guys remember when we were looking at your test earlier, remember a lot of times I'd mark you guys down with that plus or minus. We have to make sure that we're keeping in mind, we have to take the square root when we're solving, we gotta make sure we include the plus and minus of our problem. So at plus or minus, the square root of one, remember this equals square root of one over square root of four. So the square root of one is one over the square root of four is two. So I have plus or minus one half, all right? So when I look at my unit circle now, now I have the one halves and negative one half. So I actually have four coordinates here. Um, and if you guys remember, these two coordinates is radical three over two, so your other point. So you have four coordinates. Yeah, four coordinates. A lot of answers, right? Four different answers. <laughs> so then we look at, all right, well, let's write on, you know, what exactly are all these angles that we're dealing with? First one is pi over 3. Next one is 2 pi over 3, right? Um, then we got <coughs> 2 pi over 3. 3 pi over 3, 4 pi over 3, 5 pi over 3. Okay? So we have four answers now. Okay? Now, rather than writing down those four answers, I'm going to show you guys a way that we don't need to write down all. You understand how I got those four points? Remember, this is 3 pi over 3. If you look at. Pi over 3, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi. I know it's not to scale. It's probably really bad and scratchy, but you guys can see that at least those are the angles. So, ladies and gentlemen, if my first answer is pi over 3, right? I know it's pi over 3 plus 2 pi n, right? Because we've kept on adding the coterminal angle. So I have here plus another 2 pi, plus another 2 pi, plus another 2 pi. However, one thing I notice is if you guys look at what's the distance from this angle to this angle, I know it's kind of chicken scratchy, but pi. it's just pi, right? Yeah. So if I just add pi, I get to that answer. And if I add pi again, I get back to my original answer, which would be my coterminal angle. So rather than just adding two pi for this one, I can just add pi, which will give me this answer. Then again, it'll give me back that other answer. So rather than writing two pi n for all four answers, all I really need to do is add pi to this first answer. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's a simple. It's a simpler way of doing it. And yes, so you're only gonna have two answers. Yes, you only need to represent it as two answers with um, with adding. Because here I'm gonna have my two pi, two pi over three, and then all I need to do is okay. add pi to get to there, add pi again. So that's any time where you have a, um, plus and a, a negative and a positive number. Yeah. Not necessarily. You're going to get some answers where once you notice that when you see your answers, you'll see that they are um, pi distance away. So then you might even be able to write one answer and just write it as plus pi. Or you might have two answers might be plus pi. So um, it's just going to kind of depend on what you'll just see like when you look at your answers, just look at the yeah. distance between them and see if you can write it like that. But that is how you guys would write your answer right there. So that is your answers to that equation. All right? Uh, yeah. So what I'd like you guys to do